Mark. Okay, ladies, I'll have you guys introduce yourselves and tell us how you know each other. <laughs> I'm Madison. And this is my mother. <laughs> it's my wife. My wife. I'm a fairly recently transitioned trans woman. We're sisters. We're sisters. We're sisters. I know her like the back of my hand and her hand. <laughs> what do you find beautiful about each other? I love Jordan's like free spirit. She can um, shine her smile. I mean, look, look at that smile. I just <laughs> think she has gorgeous eyes. Aww. I try to be tasteful in my appearance and uh, hopefully just blend in. What sort of is presented as perfect in media and advertising, what does that perfect look like? It's unrealistic. When I see pictures that are altered. With perfect skin, with perfect bodies. White teeth, straight teeth. Half those pictures aren't even real. Even the girls in the magazines don't look like the girls on the magazines. I think about Giorgio Armani. Every single time I think about the abs that I want. I'm not represented. I'm, not, I'm, the, I'm just not there. What effect does that have on a person's mental health? I think it definitely has a negative impact. Depression, anxiety, eating disorders. Mental health, that's why you think you're ugly and stuff like that. Seeing what she's gone through and, and seeing what she deals with and then again just hearing it here, it's, it breaks my heart. Everything was about what I didn't have. I wore hair extensions because I was insecure with my short oh, hair. Lord. Yeah, he, he knows. <laughs> he hated it. How would you like to see these standards change? I'd like to see real people. I wouldn't cover up the flaws. Like if they have a big butt in cellulite, like rock that ass, you know? <laughs> rock that cellulite. But it's true. <laughs> and anyone who is feeling that they're not beautiful is definitely holding themselves to someone else's standards. It really is up to the people that are presenting this to do something about it. I want that realness portrayed and not altered.